pay-ups is it is obscene how much camping time I get, but I love it. Back out again, just another one night. I'm going down to meet Tim. Yeah, not camp with him for a bit, so looking forward to it. We're both in hammocks. We're going to head down to the riverbank camp. And uh, yeah, pretty much work from there. Carrying petrol and oil for my chainsaw. So we can get some good logs off that bit that flooded. So yeah, plodding on. Stay tuned. Come a little bit of a different way again today. And I haven't seen an old Cumbrian style like that for years. It's awesome. I'm just heading down this way. Quite windy. Well, I hope it's not as windy down there as it is up here. Yeah. Awesome valley shot. here at the moss shelter it's got here everything's awesome in there just here to get the spit rust pole so I've got the spit rust pole that's sweet I'm gonna start getting my stuff set up and wait for Tim should see him coming across the fields before long so I've got the uh, camp shelter up it's very windy Looking like a bubble, which is going to fill with smoke, I can see, but I'm going to get my hammock and all that set up before I worry about that. Tim's there, crossing the field. There he is, getting closer now. The, uh, you can see how windy it is. Putting up the ridge line of my tarp. I'm gonna re up and peg it down before it damages itself. So finally got my hammock and tarp set up ish. <laughs> Do you want a hand? Hi, One second. Four by four. <laughs> That's everybody up now. Got uh, Tim sorted. Hammock. Yeah. <laughs> it's a mission putting up big tarps in wind, like. I've got my food bag here, my tarp, and then my rucksack and my hammock and everything's there. My wonderful sleep bags in there. Already, just keep on checking these guidelines. I mean, the four of them just because we'll have to tighten them all the way up. Everything stretches with the wind. Ooh, oh. <laughs> Doesn't get better than this coffee and chocolate muffins. Loving it. It's really down low at the front so that the smoke goes over the top of it and not in our faces. Tim's just sorted it all out now. So we've been working hard adding some serious height onto our camp. As you can see our walls are now uh, chest height to me. And we've got a big nice bit of wooden. I went up to the moss camp and borrowed my bed just so we've got a nice bench. Which is uh, awesome. That goes the full length of the back wall. Fires there, our tarps up here holding back. Yeah, pretty awesome. We just got to get more firewood for later. So, from inside, it looks totally epic. We've even put some massive stones on the fire, too, just like on the front, just to stop our fire pit spilling over because that happens. So before I get the joint of spit roast lamb on, leg of lamb that we've got, we're uh, hungry now so we're going to have a bit of bacon just to keep us going until 
until the lamb's ready later on. So yeah, proper survival food. Oh, I love a bacon roll, lad. Food of kings. There's our bacon rolls, all nice and ready to go. Sweet. This is the second batch of bacon on the go. Just uh, we're sitting talking and decided to have a second batch, just because we can. And then I want to put the lamb on in about once I've eaten that. See the bacon shrinking. It's magical. Oh yeah, you've seen it. Look at it. <laughs> That's the leg of lamb on. Oh, I can't wait for this. That's going to be special, that's what it's going to be, Tim. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, would you look at that. This is going to be awesome. <laughs> I've had to get this stick just to prop it up and. Stop it from spinning round and that. It's gonna be grand. Got a nice coat on the skin now. So before we wrap this in tin foil, I uh, just wanted to answer a question that I've been asked multiple times, and they always ask why I brown the meat off first before I do like the deep cook as in the core temperature and the reason being is what well, at the start I can have the fire at a control and temperature to brown it off whereas in once I've if I just wrapped it in tin foil to do the centre thing the fire may never be good enough to get that sort of colour again if you know what I mean without the work because once I get to the point where I'm taking the tin foil off if I had to stop and brown it off all my pans would be under here the fire is going to be a lot lower, so I'm not going to get that. You know, I mean, we've had a big fire under that in order to get that sort of colour in it and evenly turning. And if you did that at the end, you know, your fire is just not going to be adequate to do that. So that's why I brown it off first and then wrap it in tin foil. <laughs> I uh, put a log on the fire. Goes here. <laughs> it's a massive well, it's kind of like the base of two trees. And then I've got a little spit roast there. Just because it was too big to actually keep the spit roast up, so I thought I'd just keep it down low. Yorkshire puddings are on. Lamb's done. Vegetables and potatoes are here. Gravy's under there. Put my grill in two parts, the cool part here and the really hot part there so I can rotate between them as they cook. Get them nice and crispy. Look at that. Awesome. Look at that. The lamb's cut up. Looks brilliant. Yorkshire puddings. All the veg and the potatoes are in there and the gravy. Saying this is totally nowhere to eat a cake. Like Tim's on that side, I'm on this side. Mm. Cake heathens. It's awesome. The lamb was amazing. It just melted in your mouth. That's me all tucked up in my hammock now. I'm uh, gonna get some shut eye because I've got to be up early in the morning. We'll see y'all in a bit.
Morning everyone. I'm up sharp this morning because I've uh, got lots to do. Still got a joint of pork to cook <laughs> before I go home. So yeah, gonna get that on shortly. Just got the zebra can on for some coffees for Tim and me. Yeah, nice morning. Wind's not that bad. Tarps even more full of holes. <laughs> Morning joint of pork's on. I'm gonna toast this off epically. I'm just gonna wrap it in King Fallen, tin fallen, pull my spirit roast to the side and do it there like I'm just crisping it off right now. Got a little tray of cakes there for the visitors. <laughs> yeah, long story. All our bench, it's just awesome, and the extra height we put on the walls. Just looks brilliant. Morning, Tim. Morning. So we've got the camp feast on the go. George, our visitor. And we have a group of people down there collecting firewood. <laughs> and the tray of cake. <laughs> George is away carrying the tray of cake. <laughs> that little one there made a slingshot. Yeah. Quite epic. I really enjoyed it. Me too. It was a good crack, I enjoyed teaching uh, somebody something. See ya! You notice we're not holding the gate for them? <laughs> <laughs> it's easier getting over from We might show. catch one of them falling. Oh, he's got it to that side where it's rusted. <laughs> Try the other side! <laughs> You're so lucky. <laughs> so yeah, that's camp gone quiet again. Me and Tim have started packing up. That was uh, some teachers and kids from our local school. Popped out to see and have dinner with us and that. Which was really good. And did like a uh, fire start and tutorial and... And... Uh, cooking dinner and everything. So yeah, it was really enjoyable. We'll see them again, no doubt. So yeah, I'm packing up. Tim's doing the same. Adam's around somewhere. He's, there's his bag. He's just gone up to get some stuff from another camp. And I'm pretty much down to just my tarp. Tim's pretty much the same. But yeah, all in all, awesome trip. And Adam. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Everyone's in this video this week. You've got a new phone case. Oh yeah. I just <laughs> DPM. <Yeah>. DPM. <laughs> Loving it. That is cool. Do you want to touch it? 